Today, I'll be talking about the pair of shoes that changed my life. So before I begin, right, I'd like to share that this video is not sponsored by anyone and i just like to profess my love for Hoka in this video. I'll be reviewing the Hoka 1-1 or One One Arahi 3 here after 1000 kilometers. Okay, so tell you about Arahi 3. And Arahi 3 is the only pair of shoes that I bought the same model twice. Uh. There you go, first time ever. So you can only imagine how much I love the shoe. Blue and red. For myself, I have ran more than 1000 kilometers in the Arahi 3 shoes. Uh. So I believe I'll be one of the best person to review this pair of shoes. So as you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Arahi 3. Now that I ran a combined of 1000 kilometers is in these two pairs of shoes, right? I feel that it is time to talk about the shoes, right? That saved me from giving up on running. Some of you guys might know, uh, when I just started uh, running again in May, right? Uh, I was in so much pain because I have developed a plantar fasciitis uh, during the initial stage of me run, coming back to running again. So, uh, so much pain that I have contemplated giving up on running. As I was very determined to regain my, back my fitness, uh, especially in the middle of the 2019, right? Uh, I took a break from running, a very short break and uh, go into cycling instead based on the recommendation of some of my friends. Of course, I bought a bicycle from a bicycle shop and as I continued to cycle, right, I felt more and more unhappy because uh, if you are being forced into a hobby that you don't really enjoy, right, every day will be a torture. So despite myself, right, knowing that cycling will be able to give me a good workout and being able to regain fitness, I was unhappy <laughs> because this is not something that I really love as compared to running. So I was really, really desperate to go back to running. <laughs> you might have noticed in my previous video where I talked about my the injury of planta and how I managed to finally get rid of it. I researched for many, many ways and tried many, many ways and finally find a combination of things that work out for me. So that is when uh, someone online right, recommend this Hoka shoes. So prior to that, right? Uh, I have never even heard of Hoka shoes before. Of course, I visited Running Lab, who is the main distributor of Hoka shoes in Singapore, and they did a running uh, gait test of uh, my running form, running on a treadmill. I also informed them that I all along I know that I have some form of flat, flat feet, and of course, uh, over pronation, and has been wearing the uh, Asics Kayano, one of the best stability shoes out there, right? Uh, for or most of my entire running life. And of course, right, I love the uh, Asics Kayano series uh, very, very much. Prior to that, I've been using it to run run on and off and walk uh, around as well. And the Asics Kayano have any have never <laughs> given me any problems only until recently. So I go into running lab, uh, despite them carrying many different uh, brands of shoes, right? I just tell them I just want to give Hoka a try. So they recommend me the Arahi 3, the most cushion shoe in the Hoka series and amazingly right, it way lighter than my previous stability models. And then something amazing happened. Despite myself still suffering from pain, uh, I still continue to run anyway, put on my new Hoka shoes and run and run and run. Despite myself putting uh, in a uh, consistent mileage every single week, sometimes even increasing my mileage. The pain from my heel and up uh, amazingly slowly goes away instead of feeling more painful after after the runs. The responsiveness and the cushioning of the shoes felt amazing, really feel incredible. Um, I feel that my feet feel protected even with running, right? I was slowly healing from my problem. And as my feet are also quite wide, I appreciate they have the extra space in the toe box that makes it even more comfortable for me to wear. One of the most interesting thing about the shoes, right, is the rocking feel when, when I'm wearing the shoe, right? It helped me to achieve a more natural gait even if I heel stride, it will roll me back into position, helping me to improve my running form along the way. So normally with stability shoes in the market, uh, uh, they tend to weigh uh, more because of the uh, thicker cushioning in their shoes. But uh, the, amazingly, the Hoka Arahi 3 only weighs 9.6 ounce or 272 gram and it's considered very light among the stability shoe series and it always felt very smooth for me and I never felt that it's dragging me down. Over the past few months, I wear it for uh, my daily training, I wear it for, for races from uh, 5k to 10k to half marathon, right? Achieve achieving PBs after PBs after PBs with my Arahi 3. I know a lot of runners are also worried about the air circulation of the shoe, right? You have nothing to worry about for Arahi 3. Uh. Even after wearing for days, hours, right? My feet never felt stuffy 
as the wonderful mesh design of the shoes right provide great great uh, really great air circulation circulation during usage so i believe i the main reason why the shoe is able to help me is because of uh, hoka's j frame technology uh. that is the firmer density foam that runs throughout the mid sole that provide extra support in heel and inside of the foot i believe in the shape of a j of course today right because of the uh, numerous great reviews about the arahi series right it is now one of the best selling stability shoes in the market and lots of runners swear by it including me now if you are having flat feet right uh, you will tend to over pronate you are suffering from over pronation problem right? i highly recommend you guys to get the arahi tree which has really saved my running life without this shoe right there will not be the youtube channel there will not be so many videos that i produced over the past few months so without this there will be no runner cow so i'll say the only minus point about the shoe is probably the design as compared to other brands right but it is still way better design than their old previous model i would say so from what i know right hoka has also released the updated version of this shoe the arahi 4 and it's really out there in the market and i i can't wait to try it on for my next running shoe so that's all for today's video so if you like this video please continue to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and remember to keep on running